Okay, let's have a look at uh, Little Monkey App's mystery numbers. Alright, so, so Little Monkey App's mystery numbers is a game uh, a little bit like higher or lower, or in this case we've called it more or less, um, or a hundreds chart. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the teacher tool. So the teacher tool is a hundreds chart, level 1 goes to 30, level 2 to 50, um, level 3 to 100 and then level 4 from 20 to 120. If you go back home you can actually change the settings starting at zero. I know that some states or territories or counties um, wherever you are in the world start at either zero or one or sometimes they need to be able to do both. Um, so let's go back to the teacher tool. So I'm starting from zero. So you've got your pencil where you can circle etc. Lots of evens, your recording tool, I'll delete them off. Um, this is something that I loved using in the classroom. So find 13, now tell me 10 less, 10 more, 1 more, 1 less. Um, this does sneak a peek. So those students who need just a little assistance in doing it can sneak a peek. And of course if you pick up the middle you can put it over there. Um, you can, we'll just go up a few levels. Um, you can highlight odd, so this these buttons are on or off, so that's on, that's off. So if you pick odds and evens, obviously it will all light up. Twos, counting by twos, will um, right over the top of evens. Um, so whatever you've pressed last, you've just considered the top. Um, um, so those, you can turn them all on or you can turn them all off, but the last button that you pressed is the top layer. Um, so there you go, there's a teaching tool, so you can use it as you'd wish. Camera tool, just in case you wanted to record. Let's just take a photo of that. So it's gone to my uh, library, my gallery. Alright, going back home. Um, so let's have a look at more or less. Alright, so we're in level 1, so we go up to, um, we've gone 0 to 29. So we need to read what is 10 less than 14. So we can either use, um, we can have a look at the chart or we can sneak a peek. So we go four. And of course, when you get to 10, it asks, do you want to go back home or do you want to play again? Um, what is one less than 14? So it does stay on that number for a little while. What is one less than 14? Ten more than fourteen. What is one more than fourteen? Okay, and then it swaps numbers. So you can't move that on this one, but you can sneak your peek if you need to. And obviously the levels are the same as I mentioned before. Um, Let's have a look at um, well, that's where we just were. Silly me. Missing numbers. Um, missing numbers is simply a drag and drop game. Oh, didn't quite get in there. Lock it in. To replacing, um, putting the tiles back in place, and obviously five tiles goes in the wrong spot. No. I used to play this game simply by getting an old-fashioned hundreds chart and um, just pulling a handful off and letting the children replace them, uh, which is still valid. Um, here comes the wind, whoosh! These numbers have been pushed off. Um, can you put them? help me put them back? Oh no, I dropped it. Can you please help me put them back? So I think you get the idea. Um, number line. So we've got two player one, but if you press number line it won't work. Um, let's just play... Uh, one player. So one player is against the computer. So my number is between 0 and 20. Alright, so you need to pick a number. So let's pick 10. I'm choosing good numbers. I'm not picking 19 um, to narrow the field. And so it's lower. So I'm pick 5. It's higher than 5. 7. Um, there you go. I've got it correct. 
so let's just go up um, to the highest level. So you can see that the, the arrow moves. Now if I did pick 10, you can say, well only a little bit of the arrow has moved. If I now pick 5 or 1, let's pick 1, the arrow will move back because I've noticed um, in the classroom, let's pick 60 to narrow the field, um, some children can visually see that and then they'll say, oh 40. So before you type in the number you can say, well you had this range and that you've picked something that's down here that will make the range wider. It is only in this section here, so it's between 60 and 120. Um, so let's pick 40 just to demonstrate that. So, mm. so the visual actually helps. Often in the classroom you might play um, this game just verbally, but I find the visual really does help. It's higher than 62. Once you start, you just can't stop. Of course, it would have to be the last number that I would pick. <laughs> oh! Wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's go back home. So with the two-player game, um, it's player one picks the number. Now, I can't go higher than 20 because I'm in level one. Um, player 2, guess the number, is between 0 and 20, so I picked 20, let's just go to level 2 and pick a number. So one player picks the number, hopefully without player 2 seeing, and the other player picks the number, um, which in, makes them interact. Uh, I often found when I played this game without the use of cards or an iPad, something that recorded the number, the other player would change the number depending on how it would, um, what the other player would say. Um, and of course if you press a number like this, it says what are you doing? Can't, you know, it doesn't say anything, can't move on the number line, etc. So that's the two player game and obviously you can swap partners, etc. Alright, mystery numbers is also a two player game. I'm thinking of a number between 0 and 29. Alright, so the computer is thinking of a number between 0 and 29. Um, you have to ask a question. You can't just click, you can't just quit. So, um, I know that initially when you start to play this kind of game, the one particular student will say 15! And you'll be like, well, no, I want you to ask me a question to narrow the field. So this really promotes that. Um, is your number, and you have to pick one of these, so is your number um, greater than, and then you get to pick 15, ask question. Yes, it is greater than 15. Okay, so those numbers drop off the board. Hmm, what kind of question could I also ask? Is your number even? No, it is not even. Hmm, well that's interesting. How do I now ask questions about these numbers that are left? And does it start with 2? No, it does not start with. Two. Hmm. Um, does your number end with seven? Yes, my number is seventeen. Okay, so it really promotes. I'm thinking of a number between zero and twenty-nine. Really promotes questioning skills. So how do we knock off as many numbers as we can? So obviously even and odd. No, it is not even. Hmm. Does it end with nine? No, it does not end in nine. Okay, does your number start with 1? No, it does not start with 1. Oh, not really knocks off a few numbers. Is it greater than... I forget to tell people that this is... It's a touch. So it's not tap, 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 tap. It's tap and hold. Yes, it is greater than 7. Oh, so I can't just now say these ones, these ones, these ones. Um, as students would often do. So is it greater than... Tap and hold, tap and hold. No, it is not greater than 25. Mm. Does it end in 5? Yes, oh, my number there we is go. 25. And you can see there's a list. I'm thinking of a number there. between 0 and 25. Alright, so let's play two players. Two players, exactly this, uh, not exactly the same. Player 1 picks the number. I'm in level 1, so I can only go up to 20. Let's go to 12. Start game. 
So player two now has to guess the number. Now, this one you can just tap, but what you are trying to promote is that um, the players ask questions each other, of each other. So is it less than 20? Is it greater than 10? Is it even? Um, Etc. Is it more than, is it less than 16? Can't remember yes. what number I picked. <laughs> 12. Um, so obviously with this game, if the player just said, is it 16, yes. clicked it, they'd My get it straight away. But that's not the type of game we're trying to promote. Um, I'll just go back home. All right. So there you go. There's the teacher tool. Every all my little ramblings are in here. Um, exactly what I've said there. Um, and of course, don't forget the setting there. That was something very important. So that is little monkey apps mystery numbers.